Hello and welcome to the 93rd tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at radio buttons. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We can do much more with buttons than what we already have. We will look at creating buttons which are essentially radio buttons. This isn't something I personally would use, uh, or at least not very often, because I just prefer a raid, typical radio button as that's what the user is familiar with but I'm here to show you the info and you decide if you want to use it. It's, it's pretty simple to implement, so if we just open up our bootstrap project in a text editor, and what we're going to do is just add this radio button below the row and the columns, but as an extra task, put it inside the row and the columns, different size columns, just to see how it reacts. So we're going to do is put a div class then I have a class of button group. We've covered button groups before. Data dash toggle equals buttons. And now inside here, we're going to put label. Going to have a class of BTN, BTN primary, which is for styling, which has also been covered. We're going to put active, so it's activated by default and we're just going to close off this label here and inside the label we're going to put input it's going to be input it's going to have a type of radio its name is going to be options id is going to be option 1 and the last few parameters or properties are going to be autocomplete is equal to off and we're just going to put checked and now what we're going to do is literally we can close off this now see they do here and now it's going to put some text that appears in our button it's not like a regular radio button that's on its own so I'm just going to put radio 1 pre-selected and now we're going to create a couple more radio buttons, but to do that, we're just going to copy and paste this one. So it's the label itself that is the radio button. Uh, what we're going to do? So we're going to change this to radio two. I'm going to remove this. Radio options option two. This is just the way they can access using jQuery or JavaScript if you want to. And we're going to remove the check because we don't want to check by default. And finally, we're just going to copy and paste this again. The only thing that we need to change is this to a free and the option two to an option free. Save this now. If we run this in our web browser, you will see our radio buttons. There we go, we have our radio button. We can select the different radio buttons. Got a little problem, they're all selected for some reason. It's a little weird. Let's just have a look. Uh, let's just put this to checked. Refresh. Okay, let's just have a look. Ah! Uh, nothing to do with this my bad I've left the active class hence they all look like they were well active so if we refresh if I click on the first one nothing happens because it's already selected a radio button unlock a checkbox you can't deselect unless you select another radio button within that group hence why we have one selected by default then we have this one and this one so for example how you may use this in a real life example a radio button of any kind on a website when you register sometimes it says they may want to use your email address to send you information so you by default you it may be selected don't send me any information and there may be two other options one option may be uh, send me information regarding my account and then you may have a third option that says send me off uh, information regarding my account and promotional material so that's how radio buttons will be used jQuery or JavaScript would still be required to detect the radio buttons being clicked and perform the desired functionality as an extra task trigger an alert stating what the radio button 
state is when being clicked, aka which one is clicked. The next tutorial will cover collapsible groups. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see over 6,000 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. Get there today, sign up, which allows you to take private notes and also check off lessons and uh, tutorials that you've finished and combining with private notes, they are really cool features. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.